Another sector that benefited from the Oni administration was education. Many public schools across the 16 local government areas were renovated while some were reconstructed. New set of furniture were provided for many primary and secondary schools. In our school, we used to buy our shares, but now you give us shares, we are very happy. The government undertook the free supply of textbooks to primary and secondary schools and paid 80% of the fee for students sitting for the senior secondary school certificate examinations in 2008. 2009, we were number eight in school side results. Percentage of students that passed five, with five credits, including English and mathematics, we were number eight in Nigeria. The record is still there. You can go to the Ministry of Education. And we were working. Boarding system in secondary schools were reintroduced and restructured to facilitate efficiency at learning. By November 2007, 150 million naira had been spent on that venture. You know, all those, uh, uh, there must be boarding, give the students uh, laptops and so on. We were doing all this not because we wanted to show off, because we were expecting that it will have effects. And the boarding school system has turned out to work because somebody told me, I don't know, I have not verified, I don't know whether it's true or not, but I believe if it is not true, they wouldn't say it. That the if I could grammar school here, I have 100% in in the last week, there are not many because they are body, but that is it. People of the fountain. Confidence must return, and confidence are re were returning as a result of the body schools, the schools enterprise, and so on, we, and we supplied them textbooks. We supplied textbooks for every PPL, and they were not supposed to take them away. They were supposed to pass them down so that other people will use them. And anybody who destroys them or takes them away was supposed to pay for them. So we left a secondary school sector that was beginning to be very robust. And by now, our target is that by now we should be top three and stay there. Be a true equity. People of the fountain. You could see that the primary school sector was also abolished. Uh, bring desk, bring chair syndrome, and we, we ensured we spent over a billion around furniture, school furniture. Something that has never happened. I have two principals before when I was there. I don't know whether it's no longer policy of government. That any child who spoils school property must pay so that we won't have to continue to buy desks every time. So we, we, we laid a very robust foundation. Go to the primary schools in Ekiti. They are the best learning environment in Nigeria, of any primary school sector. You don't see the lapidated walls any longer. We removed all those buildings. And that is why there is nowhere, whether it's a village or a hamlet or a farmstead in Ekiti state today, where our projects are not standing. Because it will either be a school or a Blue uh, Health Center and so on, they will be standing. I can tell you that in the primary school sector, we had the best learning environment in Nigeria. We were giving those children eggs and chocolate tea. It is not because we just want them to feel fine alone. We want them also to go right and grow well. Right IQ. The child that eats the right uh, nutrients will go right. Right physique, because we are also going to put them, some of them on the tracks to challenge the best in the world. They must go right physically, mentally, because some of them also will have to challenge the best in the world in their time, mentally. And that's why we were doing it. People of the fountain. All these things, we didn't arrive at there by just waking up and saying, let children go and Of course, we know it cost a lot. It was costing government a lot. But we know that those children eventually will be the pride of the state. People of the fountain.